The loss of a Fly Jamaica airplane, which crashed in Guyana last month, has pushed the airline into a deeper crisis. The airline, which had only two aircraft before the crash, is struggling to maintain its schedule. The Guyanese newspaper Starbrook News said Fly Jamaica is making arrangements to lease planes to cushion the load of the Christmas season. But as TVJ's Anthony Lugg reports, some of the affected passengers aren't pleased. On the Fly Jamaica Airways Facebook page, passengers rage while others demand answers. The airline has been experiencing difficulties since one of its aircraft crashed at the Chedi Jagan International Airport in Guyana on November 9. In a release dated November 23, the airline said it's working to restore its service, but the passengers we spoke with described that process as a nightmare. Michelle Squire is one of those persons. Her flight was scheduled to return to Toronto on November 26. Nine days later, she's still in Jamaica. I've been placed on holes many times, um, 20 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes, and even then, um, waiting that long, get, got hung up on. When you do talk to someone, they say that they have no updates, they don't know what to say to you, to call back later on in the evening, and when you call back in the evening, there's no answers. Carenza Barrow had a similar experience leaving the United States but was later given a flight number by a Fly Jamaica representative she spoke with over the phone. We got up to the counter. The rep said, um, your name is not on the list of flights. So I said, what do you mean my name is not there? I called and I confirmed before I came. I wouldn't have just showed up. She said, go to the ticket booth. With little to no communication from Fly Jamaica, some passengers have opted for flights with other airlines, but even then, they're still a challenge. This is peak time for traveling, and it's Christmas. The prices are high on tickets. Our in-laws give us a loan of 1100 US dollars so that we can buy two one-way tickets to get back to Guyana. So they put me in 1100 US debt. In the meantime, our news center contacted Fly Jamaica and was told to send an email. Those emails we sent have not been answered. We also visited the office in St. Andrew, but were told no information could be provided. Over 100 Fly Jamaica passengers like Ms. Squire and Mrs. Barrow are questioning if and when they'll be getting a refund. Anthony Lugg, TVJ News.